how to run AUS to receive findings in LendingPad. Well, let me show you how step by step. First, let's log in to LendingPad. Then, let's choose who we're going to work with. In this case, let's work with John Homeowner. Once we're in John Homeowner's file, we need to review some things. So let's go to Loan Application Info Summary screen. Here we can review information at a glance. We can also, if we need to, go ahead and manage borrowers. We do so by clicking on Manage Borrowers. And here we can correct any information that we need to on John or Mary Homeowner. Once we know all this information is correct, we can click on Save Changes. We then need to proceed with the tabs and look at address, make sure this information is correct. And again, if we need to update any information, we can always go to manage whatever it is. So in this case, we manage addresses. We need to do the same for employment, income, expense, asset, REO, liability, and we need to review all the information on the declaration page and home to information. Once we feel confident this information is correct, we need to move over to Disclosure. Once we're in the Disclosure tab, we want to look at Cost Details. And again, you can look at the Cost Details information at a glance by just scrolling down and looking through. Any of the information looked amiss, we can click on the Edit icon. Once we do so, we can look through section by section, making sure all the information in there is correct. And once we've determined all the information is correct, we can go to the top and click on Save Changes. Notice the modal closes and we get confirmation in the lower right hand corner that all the things that we updated were successfully updated. It is important to make sure that all your information in the file is correct prior to running AUS. Garbage in, garbage out. Let's make sure what we put in there is correct. So let's move over to the Actions tab. And once we're in the Actions tab, we're going to go to System Actions. You may have to scroll down to get to AUS. Once we're at AUS, to the right is the Send icon. Let's go ahead and click on it. A new modal will open and we'll have AUS request. In here you can choose between Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. Um, we have our request type, underwriting only, underwriting with merge credit, underwriting with order credit, and download result. The download result is a wonderful addition to LendingPad in that if you run your AUS outside of LendingPad and want to download your result into LendingPad, you click on download result, put in the case file ID, and you would be able to pull those results into LendingPad. But for our purposes, we're going to do underwriting with merge credit. Then we're going to make sure our credit report provider is correct and that we have the correct report identifier next to John and Mary homeowner. Once you know all this information is correct, click on send request. The modal will close and you'll notice that we get confirmation in the lower right hand side of the screen. And when we come over to AUS, you'll notice the green success. We can click now on the view icon and it will open up. And here you'll notice we ran DU successfully. We can click on the blue arrow for more details as well as to review the findings. Let's click on this blue hyperlink and look at the AUS findings. This will open up in another tab, and here we can look at the AUS findings and see what we need to do. Once you're satisfied here, you can go back over to Lending Path. Then you can move over to the Document section. Click the blue arrow to expand the Document section. You'll notice here that we have the same AUS finding. So now you know you can review the findings either here in AUS Findings or when you expand AUS in System Actions. And that's how you run AUS in LendingPad. Questions? Feel free to review the material in our support section of the site by clicking support in the top menu or reaching out to your LendingPad representative. Thank you for choosing LendingPad as your loan origination system.